Welcome to Robotics 101, and today we're having an Actobotics challenge. We've gathered the three greatest mechanical minds in the building, and we're going to compete to build a machine that can place a ping pong ball into a pint glass from eight feet away. We have 60 minutes to complete the build using only parts from the Actobotics catalog. The course is 12 feet long with four feet to complete our machine and operate it, and then eight feet between that line and the pint glass that we have to cover without any human interaction within that area. The machine can be a catapult, it can be a car that delivers the ball, just as long as you're not touching it in that eight foot area between the safe zone and the pint glass. Because the Actobotics line is so modular and reconfigurable, we uh, expect to see a bunch of different ways to solve this problem, even though we're only using parts from that single product line. It looks like everybody has their parts in front of them and all of the tools that we're going to need, so let's get started. On your mark, get set, go. So my design is it's pretty much based on a pitching machine. Uh, so I have discs on both sides and they're hooked up to gear motors that is part of the line. You're going to go ahead and pit the ping pong between the discs. It's going to go flying. Um, in order for it not to go flying all over, I have two channels next to each other and it's just going to go fall along. Uh, and these motors are actually really high RPMs, so hopefully it'll, it'll go shooting and then I'll add a little less voltage so it's not as high RPMs. The idea behind my design is that I'm going to actually deliver the ping pong ball directly to the pint glass and drop it off. So it's going to be a wheeled platform that rolls at the pint glass and then uh, as soon as it rolls over the pint glass it'll hit this mechanism that tips the ball in. I'm also not using any motors or power because I feel like that's another way that my design could fail and another thing that's going to eat up my build time. The major concern for me is going to be getting my wheels lined up so it tracks straight and also aiming at the pint glass so that I can actually get the ball there. My design is actually uh, designed, it's more or less like a, a jetway at, a, at an airport. So the idea is that one section will slide out and then the other section will slide out on top of it, hopefully reaching the glass. And if that doesn't work, I have an extra motor and an extra set of beams to potentially extend my uh, reach an extra up to 18 inches. So hopefully I'll make it. So my rover is about as complete as it's going to get and I'm gonna go ahead and try for the goal. I've got 20 ping pong balls. Most ping pong balls out of 20 wins. Let's do it. Oh. Nope, nope. That's dangerously bad. Here comes nine. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Feeling good, feeling bad. Feeling bad. Oh, that was sweet sixteen. No, no, no. Save. I saved the best for last. No. One out of twenty. All right, so Nick just went, and since he got one out of 20, I think it's gonna be a miracle if I can get one in. I'm only aiming for one. Um, so far, uh, it's all built, I've done some testing, I haven't been able to get a ball in the pint glass yet, but I'm hoping out of 20 tries, um, I'll be able to get at least one. Oh! oh. 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 
I didn't get a single ball in. I was close. I've hit the edge of the uh, pint glass. I hit all around the pint glass. Uh, it, it just wasn't happening. It, it would have been a miracle for me to get it in. But I'm happy for what I have and what I built for 60 minutes. And I still think I'm going to beat Casey or at least tie at second place. So while my competitors decided to play by the normal rules, I played by the rules of engineering. Get it right! <laughs> so, I spent my time over the evening with careful analysis, planning, and testing to create the superior ping pong slinging machine. Alright, first test, stand back. Science is happening. Patience. Second stage is activated. Oh, that looks phenomenal. Oh. <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this. Come on. Oh, that's it. Listen. Listen for it. Oh. Oh. Let's see if it'll do it again. It's kind of like bowling. Oh, that hurts. Put and it out of its misery. The servo is dead. <laughs> so I'm happy to report that I won the Actobotics challenge without the help of measly electrons. I only used the Actobotics product line and it worked out great. It doesn't feel as good as I thought it would because I'm pretty sure both of these people hate me now, but um, I won and that's what matters. Thanks for watching the Actobotics Challenge.